This presentation discusses the exciting future for organ on a chip technology. It is presented by JT Burney, Donnie Bigler, and Audrey Sinkwell. The organ on a chip technology is being presented in our future technology movie by Geraldine Hamilton at TEDx of Boston in 2013. As you may know, TEDx is a nonprofit organization that tries to focus on collaborating ideas and stories to tell of a current, past, and better future. Organ on a chip is one of the many medical advances that changes the way to heal those in need from the most extreme cases to simple testing on how drugs or organs interact. This specific advancement can be extremely relatable to all people, not just scientists or pharmaceutical companies. Organ on a chip could be just the technology needed to help those who need a cure for a rare disease that needs personalized attention and help those who need a new or repaired organs. We're all affected by disease and illness, that this will have an impact on everyone's lives. This doesn't just impact those with a rare disease, but also the common diseases that multiple family members or close friends are affected by. We can all relate to how this would change one's life. Organ on a chip is a very innovative, but instead of seeming just like a good idea, it is also a very realistic system. It is not one of those technology ideas that cannot take off for another 50 years while the actual technology needed is being invented. We have the technology. It is getting the technology in sync with sales being used now. This has the potential to change all industries of healthcare, research and development, animal lab testing, drug testing, etc. We will no longer need to test on animals. We can use the chip to see the impact it can have now, and it will be more accurate and impact because it will have human cells and not animal cells, which can vary. It can also help with drug interactions since humans of all ages interact to different things differently. We won't, need, we won't be needing to use inaccurate predictions to pave the way of a new drug. We'll have a near-perfect observation of what is to come to whatever drug or cell is being tested. Organ on a chip presents many areas for potential industry transformation. The two current methods for testing new drugs is animal testing and human cell dishes. Animal testing has been useful for providing information about how the drug is going to work, but it has not been accurate for observing all the possible side effects because it is not tested with humans. The cell dishes have also been effective in revealing potential drug effects. However, the main problem with the dishes is that they are not subjected to realistic conditions that a human body may experience. These variables can have very large effects on the infections and different medicines. Another prevailing issue with these methods is the low return of success companies are facing compared to the high cost of research and development for the drugs being used. Now, sometimes they are able to pass these on uh, to only receive failing results into human trials. If a new method of research was introduced that was more accurate in the earlier stages for companies in drug and testing development, they would save a lot of money and have increased ROIs. The basic function of organ on a chip is to create the most realistic environment possible for human cells to live in and then subject, subject those cells to various infections and white blood cells to see how the cells react. The center of the device is made up of three different layers. The air and blood layers act as channels to help provide the necessary oxygen and environment for the cell membrane layer to survive. These three layers are surrounded by two larger vacuum channels that help push and pull on the membrane to simulate actual human activity. The point behind the device is to provide the most realistic testing model possible to see how various parts of the human body will react to different clinical tests. Organ on a chip will change multiple industries. The process of how clinical trials are conducted will differ than how it is now. The outcome and conclusion will be more accurate in the trials being conducted and they will be able to use human skin cells, etc. instead of relying on animals, which gives a distorted outcome for any trials. This also makes the trial more personalized. They can change the variables to relate to certain cases more than a general trial, such as using a human cell that's from a young male and 
then add or take away from the cell based on the lifestyle and healthy uh, living of that individual for whom it is for. This is a direct effect on the research and development of the industry. As mentioned earlier, you will be able to add drugs to the cell chip and see how they will affect the cell. They will be able to know if drugs are safe for kids under a certain age by using a younger, younger cell chip. Pharmaceutical companies will now have more accurate information about reactions and dosage of drugs to make available to the public. This can make drug use safer along with more accurate accuracy on directions of use. Consumers will gain more peace of mind and this has also impacted the cosmetic industry as well. There will be no need for testing products and their ingredients on animals anymore to see the results on human skin. The chip will be able to do this reaction without the use of animals. Organ on a chip will call for multiple industries to, to work closely together. Engineers, cell biologists, and clini clinicians are the main industries that will start collaborating together for this technology. They all need the expertise of the different industries to be able to effectively use the cell chips and to make the whole idea come together. During the next year and a half, Ingber's team will experiment with more linked organs for longer periods of time, culminating in the spring of 2017 with a test designed to determine whether all 10 organs can function together successfully for four weeks. Their goal is to create a group of working chips that could simulate the, all the human vital organs. So far, there is no set date on when mass production may begin, but the company is trying to research the market as soon as possible. One problem the company faces is that the machines to operate multiple chips are still being developed. Overall, this video taught us of the potential world-changing technology that organ on a chip can provide. It's incredibly significant not only for the medical industry, but other ancillary industries to the medical profession as well. Overall, we think that it's significant because it has futures, it has eyes set on the future that allow us to project what we're looking for and where we want to be as a human race. We also love the simplicity of the idea of the organ on a chip. If we can control the environment 100%, it seems to make sense that we would make better, more affordable drugs and heal more diseases. Being able to control the test environment is key and the simplicity of doing that with organ on a chip seems incredible. And finally, this is possible. This is an exciting technology for us and it's significant because it's being done today. While not in mass production, the technology is there and the capability to make an enormous impact on society and, human, and the human race is at our fingertips. There are many things to take away from this TED Talk. It's obvious that we learned how the research and development processes for pharmaceutical industries need a more efficient and affordable pro testing process. We learned how and what organ on a chip can do to make these processes safer for drug con consumers as well as faster and easier for companies to produce better samples. The current methods of testing do not provide accurate predictive results and the industry needs to address the concern. This video is important because it shows that there is a viable option in production to help increase the accuracy of drug trials and address many of the problems the industry is facing. Finally, we learned how technology is working together to create a brighter future, not only for drug testing and development, but also for humanity in the health industries as a whole. Thank you so much for joining us for our presentation.